I guess I look at what I do as having the best job at the paper. Um, I just feel blessed to be able to combine my love of history and politics and uh, more, more than anything else having the privilege to you know give my opinion each day in the newspaper and it's something that I take uh, that responsibility I take very seriously. Uh, it's not I don't sit at my desk just to make somebody mad uh, there's a rhyme or reason to what I do, and there's a, a true thought process that goes into to the making of each uh, each cartoon. Uh, I do it because I think it's it's worthwhile, and I think um, you can change people's minds sometimes through a cartoon. I think locally you can really have that impact. Uh, our smoking our uh, smoking ban was a good example of this newspaper taking on a very important issue, public health issue, and championing that, and uh, actually helping I think to. Uh, persuade some of our policymakers and uh, leaders of the city to implement this ban. The way I approach uh, my daily work, daily cartoon, is you know get to work fairly early, um, read through three or four different source materials. Of course I start with our paper, I have access to the Chicago Tribune, New York Times, read through uh, different pieces that interest me. I may surf the web a little bit. Uh, and then I start looking uh, for an idea for the next day's edition. And what I try to do is come up with a, a, a cartoon idea, whether it's state, local, national, but focus on what I think the burning issue of the day is. And uh, then I start just kind of free-forming ideas in my head. A lot of times I'll sit there at my desk, a couple pieces of paper on the desk, pencils, and be staring kind of blankly out my window. And uh, generally that's the time that an editor will walk in. It will uh, look incredibly like I'm goofing off, but uh, there is a rhyme or reason to this process. It's, it's get, trying to clear my mind a little bit and uh, think about visual images that might be appealing to the reader. People a lot of times hear the word cartoon, they think it has to be funny, it's supposed to make them laugh, and many times a cartoon is supposed to make you, you stop in your tracks and take a deep breath and gasp, and it may make you spit your cornflakes out all over the newspaper in the morning or choke on your coffee, but uh, it, the power of the image was very apparent this year in the New Yorker uh, cartoon with uh, Senator Obama and his wife Michelle Obama that created quite a controversy. And it goes back to the times of the cavemen. You know, they communicated with, with pictures. And, um, it, it, and so it, it's interesting to, to be involved in an art that creates so much, so much consternation or, or fire and ire on the editorial page. People will look at a picture and they will get so upset. Uh, you might have a column right next to it that says in a thousand words what I say in one simple picture and people will respond to the to the cartoon much more vigorously than they will to the written word. So uh, that's the day of uh, editorial cartoonist. Thanks. <laughs>